Hey, what's up guys, Second Creeper over here back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, the Phytogenic Insulator from Thermal Expansion. Oh yeah, so this is a, a very interesting and weird block at the same time. So if you open up the GUI, you see that it has two slots for items, and two output slots, and also a fluid tank. So let's set the input to the side. Let's put down a Tesseract, and set it to receive fluids, and set the frequency to the water channel. See, this thing requires water. It also, it also requires energy. Now, you may ask, what does the phytogenic insulator do? I'm glad you asked. That's why I'm here. So, if we take a look at the recipes, you can see that it can, uh, it can, grow, well, it can grow any seeds that you give it. So basically, basically what's required, you need a, you need either rich phyto grow, which is rich slag, saltpeter, and two sawdust, or pulverized charcoal, niter, and rich slag, or you can use phyto grow, which is slag, niter, and sawdust, or niter, uh, pulverized charcoal, and slag. So basically, if you want to use phyto grow, you need to use the induction smelter a lot. Anyway. Uh, let's take a look at the recipe for the phytogenic insulator. Oops, that's not the key. It's this. Alright, so to make the phytogenic insulator, you need two copper gears, two dirt. It can either be dirt or podzol, a redstone reception coil, aluminum gear, and a machine frame. Lumium gears are made with lumium ingots and iron. Lumium is made uh, by a smelting lumium blend. Or you can, uh, or you can alloy smelt three tin, one silver, and four glowstone. Aluminum blend is made with um, silver dust, pulverized tin, and an energized glowstone bucket. All right. Um, anything else? The machine frame. The machine frame is made with a tin gear, four iron, and four glass of any kind. And the tin gear. The, the forestry tin gear is made with a stone gear from Buildcraft or the basic gear from Ender.io with four tin. Or if you or if you prefer, you can use the thermal expansion tin gear, which is iron in the center and four tin. All right. So um, the the phytogenic insulator also requires um, also requires to see uh, it also requires sunlight. So let's set this to time set zero. It needs to be able to see the sun, otherwise it will not work. Let's go ahead and lock the fertilizer slot. So, um, let's do some, uh, let's get some phyto grow. Let's just do some rich phyto grow. And let's get, um, let's say sugarcane seeds from Agricraft. So, if we throw a rich phyto grow in there and a sugarcane seeds in there, <clears throat> it will start to run. Uh, uh, see, this sunlight icon is here because it it, it, it can see the sun. Uh, if it can't see the sun, then it won't work. So, well, why don't we test that? Why don't we test that once this thing's done? So, rich phyto grow plus sugarcane seeds will give you guessed it, sugarcane, and it also gives it it'll also give the seeds back. <clears throat> so, uh, so let's see what happens when we put uh, something on top of it. Let's put rich phyto grow and sugarcane seeds. I'm sorry, what? I thought I had to be able to see the sun. Hmm. Something's weird. Maybe, maybe my findings are off. My findings are off. This thing doesn't need to see the sun. I just, I just thought since it had that sun icon, it needed to see the sun. Hmm. Well, let me, let me try this in a dark area. This thing is its own um, sun source, so this thing doesn't need to be under. Uh, this thing doesn't need to be out in the sun. It, it, it just, uh, it provides its own sun. So you can use this in a, in a factory setup. It doesn't have to be out in the sun. All right, guys. So. I think besides that one shaky fact, um, I think my tutorial is pretty much done. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to give it a like. It helps me out tremendously. Plus, uh, and plus I figured some people might be shaky on this block since it was uh, just released in the uh, official version of Thermal Expansion. So 
I mean, I mean, it can never be too short. All right, guys. That'll be it for this modded Minecraft tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Later.